The future is uncertain, the future of humanity, and the future of something that has put humanity at risk. China's wet markets, are they back? Every report indicates they are, yet China says they're not. Nobody's convinced. From the United States to Australia, there are renewed calls for the closure of these wet markets, markets that have a history of being incubators of human diseases. But the body tasked with controlling human diseases says they are a source of livelihood. The World Health Organization, its director general, the man of one word virtues, Dr. Tedros thinks these markets should be allowed to reopen. Listen to this. Wet markets, as you know, are an important source of affordable food and livelihood for millions of people all over the world. But in many places, they have been poorly regulated and poorly maintained. WHO's position is that when these markets are allowed to reopen, it should only be on the condition that they conform to stringent food safety and hygiene standards. You heard what he said? In some places, they are poorly maintained. Well, I have two examples. Wet markets in the Yunnan province, the source of the SARS virus back in 2003, and wet markets in Wuhan, the source of the coronavirus, most likely. Both are in China. The WHO chief will not tell you this. He tends to be selective. The Chinese regime won't accept these markets as the source of this virus. In fact, it has gone one step further. China says these markets never existed. According to Geng Shuang, China's foreign ministry spokesperson, there is no such thing as a wet market. You've got to hear this. Now, first of all, I want to point out that there is no such thing as a wildlife wet market in China. In fact, there is no such thing as a wet market in China. Farmer markets and live poultry and seafood markets are more common. These markets sell fresh meat, fish, vegetables, seafood and other sideline products. There are only a few markets that sell live animals. There is no such thing as a wet market. Very well. Then let me show him something. These images from the 17th of April, they are from Shanghai. They were shot just last week by a travel vlogger who claims that 94% of China's wet markets have reopened. I want to repeat them. 94% of China's wet markets have reopened. Now they're debating the semantics. And we are told that wet markets are like any other markets that sell fresh produce. That the term wet refers to the fact that perishables are being sold at these markets, not necessarily wildlife. China says that hundreds of such wet markets exist in South Asia. I'll have to agree they do. Wet markets have existed for several years in these parts and not all of them sell exotic meat. But in China they do. And by all indications they still are doing. We've done extensive reports on this. China has done little to ensure that there is no wildlife trade. The Chinese Agriculture Ministry passed a draft. It only exempted dogs from human consumption. Most wildlife has, was approved as farm-raised species. The wildlife traders considered them species approved for slaughter. China has deliberately left these loopholes to keep business at these wet markets going. They may be an affordable source of food, but the world cannot afford the diseases they produce.